What's up guys, Ryan Schultz here from E39 Source and in a hopefully quick video today we're going to talk about the Blue Bus telephone adapter cables and how to determine which one you need for your BMW E39. Another quick preface, this video applies to North American cars. European and rest of world cars unfortunately in most cases did not come pre-wired for the Blue Bus or the telephone. This will be semi-applicable to the E46, the E38, the E53, the E83, whatever the heck the Z4 chassis is, I never remember, but mostly the E39 5 series. And these cars were kind of put together by hand, so it depends which cable or which harness the German guy picked up. You can't just give me the year and I can't just tell you what cable it is. Uh, and there's a, a link down below I'm going to leave. Ted's put together a pretty good table. Uh, but before you place your orders, you should be uh, taking a look in your specific vehicle to determine which type of cable you need. And as far as I know, there's three options for the E39. One we want to avoid, that's the DB25 connector. It looks like an old LPT line printer terminal connector from 20 years ago. It's a serial connector. If you do not have the blue connector or the black connector and only have the DB25, then you order the DB25. If you have the blue connector, order that. If you have the black, order that. If you have both black and blue, it really doesn't matter. Order whatever one's cheaper, and I think that's going to be the blue one. Now, the demo car we're going to use today is my customer's 2002 E39 M5 finished in steel gray metallic. This is one of 16, I uh, believe, in the world and one of five in North America in this configuration. Um, it is not anthracite. It is not sterling. This is steel gray. It was actually an E46 M3 color, so it's cool to see this on the M5. So uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open the trunk. And then on the left Oddman store, that is this little door right here that covers your navigation computer if equipped, your radio if equipped, and CD changer if equipped. So we're going to pull that open. The wiring we're looking for is going to be wedged, hello, it's going to be wedged back up in here. It might not be easy to see, it might be easy to see. Don't waste time looking over here by your radio, your amplifier, your CD changer, your nav computer. It's not here, it is here. To gain better access, we can remove or loosen this side of the carpeting. And that is done by removing this little pop rivet. That middle piece or that the piece on the right there pries out. That's a plunger that must firstly be pried out with ideally a pry tool, like a pop rivet removal tool, a flathead screwdriver would work. Then the whole thing will come out. That will allow you to peel back this carpeting and get a perfect look up here. So we're looking in this area that is on top of the rear wheel arch, the rear left driver's side wheel arch. Normally, all of these wires will be bundled up like this, held with a zip tie. Sometimes, depending on who put the car together, you'll have a big old piece of black, sticky, cloth-like material hiding all of it, and you won't see it. It's just in a big black ball. Uh, and that usually that stuff's real sticky, so maybe put some gloves on or go in there with a knife, cut it out, being very careful not to damage the wires. The DB25 connector we talked about before is not in this car. I'll put a picture of it up here again so you can see what that looks like. This car actually has both the black and the blue connectors. The blue connectors, this one right here, it is a 2 by 13 configuration. That's 26 different pins. And it's a Molex connector. It's got this little swing arm tab. And the way that works is there's a little thing on top that's blue. You press that in and that allows the arm to pivot. So when you install that on the phone adapter cable, that's how that works. And then it locks back in place with that little click. So that is your blue 26 pin connector. Your black connector up here is a 54 pin connector and that's three by 18. There's a lot more pins on here. It's a very large black connector and it's the same deal. You press down on this little tab here to get the arm free and you rotate it back 90 degrees. You'd hook it up and then click back into place. So those are your black and blue connectors for the blue bus. A little side note, if you do have both the blue and black connector, if you choose to use the black one and try to let the blue one hang, you do need something called a jumper in here. Without the right pins jumped, the microphone's not going to work. Try to find a part number for that jumper located below. Or, more simply, just use the blue one instead of the black one if you've got both. This is one of the adapter cables directly from blue bus that would be obviously for the black 3 by 18 pin, 54 pin connector. So the one end will attach to that cable right there. The other end is keyed. Notice right there at the top, it's got that little bump. That's so you can't put it in 
upside down or backwards and screw up the pin orientation. So this will plug into the Blue Bus. There's only one slot on the Blue Bus where it plugs in. Here's a demo in another car. So here's the Blue Bus. We'll look at the back side of it. We have our uh, six pin for the audio, our three pin for power and iBus. Both of those were robbed straight from the CD changer. And then that last one right there, you can see the, the pin or the key is right there up at, up at the top. So then we would just take our phone adapter cable, line it up and press it into that plug. So back over here, we're gonna demo putting this onto the black connector and it's keyed in a way that it will only fit one way. So I've already moved the locking lever over here to the side by pressing that thing at the top. And this is gonna be hard to do with one hand, but we get it lined up as best as we can. It only fits the one way. And then we're gonna rotate that black arm over until it clicks into place. And that has locked our adapter into place into that black connector. So now this can just be pushed, zip tied, however you wanna do that back up out of the way. And then you plug that end, of course, into your Blue Bus. So why do we need this cable? What is it for? The Blue Bus actually works fine without it. You're going to get your Bluetooth audio and your iBus integration. All of that's going to be uh, absolutely fine. If you want to use your car as a phone booth at all, if you want to have hands-free audio, use the steering wheel to answer a call, the headliner built-in microphone to communicate to that person on the call, you need this cable to attach the Blue Bus to that headliner microphone and other electronics in the car to make all of this possible. And the last thing we're going to talk about today is checking for that headliner microphone. Let's take a peek inside. Some of these cars came with it. Many didn't. If your car came with the phone, if you have an old phone there in your center console, chances are you have the headliner microphone already. Uh, if your car didn't, it could go either way. It depends on how the car was optioned and uh, etc. So let's take a peek inside. We're going to come inside, look up at the headliner here. We'll see the uh, home link, garage door opener, the sunroof switch, and on the left is this little grill. Now you can get a flashlight, maybe your phone would work, and shine it up in there. And if you see something like right immediately here, that's probably the microphone. If you don't, and you're looking up into a few inches of, of nothingness, you don't have a mic. But there's a better way to tell. This little thing just clips right in. It is from the front. And if you get some fingernails in there and just pull down, this whole little cover comes out and you'll see that there's indeed no microphone in here. The microphone actually installs into this cover. You'll see a clip and a groove back there. When you have the microphone in your hand, it's very simple to see how this installs. All of these cars are pre-wired for the microphone. You may need to remove the rest of this paneling up here, which is very simple. This light pries down from the front and then you can let it hang by its wire. Then you can reach up and push this entire little Alcantara panel down out of the headliner and you will find the, I believe it's a three pin connector that in fact, these wires have been messed with in here before. There it is. I believe that's going to be it right there, seeing that it is loose. And that is it. It's got the three wires. One of them is in a black shield. So you plug your microphone into that, snap it into this little, um, little grill cover, and then replace the whole thing, starting in the front and pop it back into place. All right, guys, that's it. It's time to finish this car up from service. It's been in here for about five or six weeks, and we've done a ton to it, and the exhaust is all ready to go back on, which is happening here in a few hours when I get some more help in here. So thank you for watching this video. Leave any comments or questions down below. The Blue Bus is not my product. I'm simply a representative, maybe an ambassador of the product and an absolute lover of the product. If you have specific product related questions, please contact Ted directly at support at bluebus.dev. He's a fantastic communicator. He'll be back with you very soon. Thanks for watching. We'll talk in the next E39 Source video. Take care.